What's up P-Timers, Phil here from P-Time Racing. Welcome to my Hot Wheels YouTube studio. I just moved here almost a year ago and I've been setting it all up and you guys have been requesting a full studio tour and this is it, so let's get started. And we will enter down here, right at the start of my studio. And the first thing that you guys will see is a bunch of my super treasure hunts right here. So kind of a collection of these super treasure hunts. Lots of different ones that I do have. I'll move back here so you guys can see some of those ones that I display. If we move over here, we've got my Bugatti collection. I love Hot Wheels Bugattis. I try to get all the new ones that come out as well as I got lots of the old ones that I do collect. Matchbox one right there, Bugatti Devo. So a lot of those ones right there. Over here, we've got uh, on the top, I've got a unopened Hot Wheels Speed Machine set. Speed Machines, you guys know I love that series. And so I've got the new set of that displayed up there. Got some Ferraris here, all brand new. So we'll go down a little bit so you guys can see all those. Some Hot Wheels ID cars, ones that I found in the boxes. And a little Fast and Furious orange Supra there, very nice. And uh, then we look over here and I've got just a table right here, which I've got just a bunch of unsorted Hot Wheels. Uh, some that I'm gonna keep, some that I'm gonna sell. Um, so stay tuned for that. Got a bunch over here as well that I'm probably gonna donate a lot of these. These are just a lot of just uh, ones from cases that uh, nobody really cares about, right? They're just kind of weird ones. So we're gonna be selling those. If we look right into that door, that is my studio. This is kind of my storage room. We'll open this one up. So you can see I've got lots of one in 18 scale cars. And uh, we've got some cases, actually all these behind here, I've got them kind of hidden away. A lot of my uh, RLC cars from this year. So there's your pink skyline over there. Uh, a lot of the boxes and stuff right there. So stay tuned for a video of those while I'll be opening up those. And then just lots of other storage Hot Wheels. These are all my McLarens in here, a bunch of uh, McLarens and Teslas and stuff in there. So lots of different Hot Wheels stored away. But let's go into this room right here. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the studio that we have. Here we go. All right, we'll start over here first before we show you everything. So I've got more cars on display. This is uh, one of my all time favorites. This is the uh, Ferrari Racers uh, Hot Wheels car in the, the Ferrari Enzo in gold. So very rare car, one of my more expensive cars that I purchased myself just because I wanted to get. Uh, got an un unopened uh, Koenigsegg, the Need for Speed one, and some other premium unopens. We got the McLaren F1 right there, the Jay Leno's Garage one I really, really love. And then a bunch of my older unopened Speed Machines cars all down here, a few other ones. This is super cool. This is uh, something I haven't showed much, but this is a little 2003 collector's guide set, which has the Bugatti Veyron in there. And there's a carded Veyron right beside there. A matchbox chase car right there that I have that's unopened, another McLaren F1. So lots of cool cars that I collect. Up here, I've got a bunch of one in 18 scale cars as well. Some more of those. So I have lots of one in 18 scale cars. This is kind of cool. This is a unopened Hot Wheels one in 18 scale Ferrari right there. So that one I've had for quite some time. It's gained some value. This is my storage cabinet right here. You can see uh, tons of Hot Wheels all in these. So there's some other random pieces, but most of them have Hot Wheels all stored in there. So some of them are sorted like these ones look to be all Corvettes in there. So I've got to sort through a bunch more cars though still. So we'll back up right here. And this right here is my main filming area. The one that you see most of my videos in. So that is our background display. So you can always see that in the background. So there's a lot of the cars that I have included on there. So if you want to pause and look at that, you can. You can see all the cars I have there. Most recently I put up on the top all the first Fast and Furious movie cars. The premium ones i have got a lot of RLC cars kind of down here as well. And that's my big filming table. My camera, I use a Sony a7 IV camera as my main camera right here. You can see that. And uh, I do have these little LED panel lights that I use and that lights up the background in different colors. I've got, I use these LED panel lights for my main lighting and then I've got an overhead light as well. So that's kind of my main filming studio area for unboxings and stuff. And then we come right over here and you can see my main track layout right here behind us right here. So we have the, of course, Hot Wheels six lane raceway 
right here. And then I've got it raised up just on some bins below here. And that will go all the way down, right down there. Um, this is the camera that I use to film my races right here. So I've got that just sitting right there, ready to go. And then the background display that you guys see. So these backgrounds I picked up on Etsy. So if you're looking for these backgrounds, pick them up on Etsy. They come in like 50s. So you've got like 50, 50, 50. So I've got all those cars. You can see a few cars I've got that are missing in there. That's just because I'm using them for races right now. And then I got this uh, Hot Wheels logo that I put in the middle, which looks kind of cool. So that's like the main display right there. And then we do have another one right here, which is the same one. And I've got uh, mostly premium Hot Wheels down on this one and then more premium Hot Wheels. Here I've got a bunch of mini GT cars. And then here I've got the uh, Tarmac Works cars. So that's what I've kind of done with that. So I'm waiting to fill more mini GTs and Tarmac Works. I really love uh, those brands as well. But if we move back right there, you can see that display. And then if we look on the bottom right here, the Hot Wheels boxes that I have all behind here, all of those, those are the Hot Wheels uh, Amazon Mystery Black boxes that I've opened up. So I've got those kind of on display. They look kind of cool. And then you see a ton of unsorted cars. You guys see all my videos. I open a ton of Hot Wheels cars all the time. And so I have to put them somewhere. So a lot of these ones are unsorted. I, I like to keep the newer ones out just because sometimes I use them for races, displaying um, and, and stuff like that. But then I do have to go back and go through and sort a lot of them still. And then we'll be putting them into our cabinet right here. So we'll have to do that. Uh, I haven't opened these ones up for a long time. These are actually my first two uh, little carry cases of my first Hot Wheels that I ever had. So all my original Hot Wheels that I played with as a kid, those are like like nice and old ones in there. So uh, I'll do a video, maybe eventually we'll open those ones up and I'll show you all my first Hot Wheels. You can see the display behind here. We have a bunch of the team transport uh, trucks right there with their vehicles, plus a couple other bonus ones mixed in right here that aren't actually the transport ones, but all the ones up there are the Hot Wheels team transport cars, which are really, really cool. I like those ones right here. And then, oh, sorry, I didn't mention how I organize my display here. Obviously you guys know I love uh, exotic cars. So I have a lot, most of my exotic cars are up here. So we got Ferraris, we've got McLarens, and uh, this is Bugatti, Koenigsegg, some McLarens, Pagani's mixed into there. Uh, up here, it looks like we have Mercedes, my favorite uh, Matchbox casting, the Mercedes AMG 6x6, really, really cool. Some more Mercedes, Pagani's in there. Uh, looks like all these are Lambos right here. Again, some of them are missing just because I've got them set up for some racing coming up. Um, and then some more in here. These are mostly Teslas actually. I really like Teslas as well. So we've got some of those in there. And then what we have right back here on this display right here. So we've got some, the Hot Wheels monster trucks. I used to collect a lot of the Hot Wheels monster trucks and then I sold my whole collection. And then I started buying more of them just cause some new ones came out that are cool. So every now and then I do buy them. They're kind of neat. Uh, the Fast and Furious box set, which I think I put all the cards. Oh no, there's some missing. We took some out. We've got, oh yeah, we got some on display and stuff like that. So we got that there. Uh, this right here, this is the official, whoops, that's dropping. Here, we'll take that down for a second. Our official Hot Wheels display right here. And that one has all the new for 2023 castings. So all the new release castings. So I like to keep those all organized. And then uh, towards the end of the year, or once all the cases have released for 2023, I'll do a recap video, which will have all the new castings in there. So you'll be able to see all the new ones for 2023. But there's uh, what I have so far. So I'm all the way up to the Supra right now. So hopefully we get our next case soon. We haven't had a case for, uh, it's been almost a month, I think, since we've had our last case. So hopefully we'll get one soon and then we'll uh, be able to add to that. Uh, the little Fast and Furious display, you guys saw that in one of my recent videos. Um, and then right over here, we've got uh, the 100 Hot Wheels exotic sports cars that we opened up. I've got a race plan for all of those. Those are all brand new that we opened up out of the box, put them right here, and we're gonna do a hundred exotic Hot Wheels tournament. So that's, stay tuned for that, that one's coming up. Uh, this was from our recent uh, 30 exotics tournament with the Lamborghini CN right there. Um, we've got some more videos planned with those. And then this is for an upcoming video, which I don't know if I'm gonna release that video before I release this video or not. So you might know what those are. If not, then you'll find out very soon. So we've got those up there. Bunch of Matchbox cars that we're getting ready to open up. So there's gonna be a big Matchbox unboxing video. And then I've got a separate studio display, a little backdrop right here. I use this 
camera right here and this backdrop to take my pictures for Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram at Peak Time Racing or even on Facebook, all those pictures go to Facebook as well. You'll see all the cool photos that I post. So uh, this is the camera that I use for that. And then all the lights that I have right that back there for that one as well. And then we do have these, which you saw in my old studio. I had these all uh, kind of lined up on my wall and stuff like that. So I've got still so many of them to hang up. Um, but uh, these ones, I kind of kept the cars that I, I like the most and stuff in there. They look really unsorted right now. So that's just still in the works. Lots of the, the, the GTRs and stuff. I know you guys love those now. So I've still got a bunch of those ones in there. So that's, that's I think, pretty much it. So we'll do another little round so you guys can see the displays and stuff that I use and the backdrop that I use for my videos. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or any feedback, anything that you wanna give me, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.